guys welcome back okay so today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about a brand new set of single eyeshadows that I just purchased it's from a brand called Adept Cosmetics now this is my first purchase from Adept Cosmetics <sighs> this is my whole beautiful little bundle that I just got <laughs> and I'm so excited about it I love it to death but just some basic information about uh, Adept Cosmetics. They are vegan and cruelty-free, first off. Um, they are an indie brand, and they've been around for quite a while because a lot of people have purchased their magnetic palettes, you know, the empty magnetic palettes that you can put all of your single shadows in. And I know that they have sold other shadows and, you know, face products and stuff prior to this, but I was not familiar with them. So when I saw on Instagram <laughs> a picture of their single shadows just bundled in these beautiful groupings together, I mean, it just drove me wild. I had to have some. So anyways, I went to their website and was taking a look at all their single shadows, their magnetic palettes, and I came across a large bundle and so what it is is you can purchase a bundle of every single shadow that they have right now that they're selling right now and you get included with that a magnetic palette <laughs> okay so y'all know me okay that's my problem with single eyeshadows is very hard for me to pick and choose which ones I want very very hard so when I saw that they offered all of their shadows in a bundle I just went ahead and got it. I knew I took a chance because I didn't know the quality, but I really wanted to try their shadows. So let me just give you a look at the palette that I chose. Now, this is the style of palette that I chose. It's just basic black. As you can see, it's double-sided. Very, very sleek. It says on here, Adept Cosmetics, but I don't even think you can see it. It's so faint within the packaging that you really can barely read it but i really like how it feels mine is full so <laughs> it's nice and heavy but when you open it up it opens up like a book and both sides are protected for your shadows now i chose to put my shimmer or metallic or diamond shades on top on the top side so that's where i have all of my shimmers it does come with a mirror. As you can see, there's a mirror right there. Very nice, nice size mirror. But these are all of, well, not all of them, <laughs> but these are the diamond shades and shimmer shades that I have on top. And then when you open the bottom, I have to be careful. I do not want to drop this, you guys. But when you open the bottom, that's where I chose to put the rest of my shimmers and all of the mattes. So what's in this palette right now are all of the shades, all of the shadows that Adept Cosmetics sells. This is every single one of them. So I started out my palette with the diamond shades and I put them in order by number. <laughs> That's why, you know, you might be like, why do you have your colors like that, KK? Because I put them in order by number because I definitely am going to include swatches in this video for you guys but this row the first two rows have the diamond shades i do have an empty space here so i know where the diamond shades stop and then from the purple all the way down are all shimmer shadows and my shimmer shadows continue here on the bottom and then i have a break where they stop after the green and the matte shadows start right here where this burgundy shade is and all the rest of the shadows are mattes. So that's how I organized my palette <laughs> just so I can easily reference what shadow is what and where it is without having to pick them up and take them out of my palette. I don't want to have to do that when I'm doing a tutorial. So most likely I might just leave it this way. But anyway, this is what the whole palette looks like. Very, very nice. It's very nice quality. 
very well put together and i think it's just absolutely beautiful seeing all those colors together just gets me all warm and tingly so anywho each of their shadows retail for three dollars and fifty cents currently on their website um i will link their website down below in the description box now for the large bundle which includes a palette of your choice. You are able to choose which palette you want and they have all different kinds, a pink one, white one, marble, black. They have all kind. Um, I think one is kind of like a crocodile skin or something. <laughs> so you can choose your palette and you get every single shadow. And for that, I paid $186. But I did get 10% off, which took the total down to $167.40, <laughs> and I did get free shipping. So that's what I paid for my whole complete bundle, and I think they have about 66 shadows currently. Let me just count right quick. Yeah, it's a total of 66 shadows. So there are 10 diamond shades. There are 34 shimmer shadows in their collection and 22 mattes. <laughs> I had to count that out because I couldn't remember off the top of my head. So that's how they all add up for the complete collection, just in case you're curious. So I am very, very happy with this whole setup, the palette, the colors, the shadows. I love the fact that there are three different finishes. Like I said, they're only $3.50 right now. And they do sell, I think, some little bundles. You can create your own palette or they have ones that are already set up for you to choose from. I think maybe for like about 15 bucks or something. Don't quote me. But I really, really am happy with this purchase. So... Um, and also, the magnetic palettes that they have for you to choose from, they range from about $20 to, I don't know, maybe about $30, I think. So if, if I'm wrong, I'll just put it on the screen somewhere. So when I purchased mine, I purchased mine about October 26th, and I received it on November 2nd. So it took about a week to get to me, which I don't think is very bad at all because it's coming across, you know, states. So took about seven days to get to me and I only had one casualty. I had one casualty and there was one missing. And when I contacted them, they immediately put in an order to replace, um, you know, the ones that were missing as well as damaged. So customer service, A plus, okay? Really, really happy about that. So anyways, enough of all of the basic and general information. I do want to go ahead and insert a quick little clip of how I received all of my single shadows and showing you how I went about putting them in my palette, okay, because that was a lot of fun, and some swatches as well for each of these, and we can jump into how I created this eye look today. So if you'd like to see all of that, stay tuned because it is coming up next. So when I received my package, there was nice packaging and cushion on top of all of my shadows as well as my palette. As you can see, it's so many shadows that I got in this bundle, but they come nicely individually wrapped in this beautiful packaging, very cute design on it with the little eye and the lashes. But each shadow comes in its own packaging. As you can see here, it's very sturdy packaging. There is the shade number on the back, so it's very easy to see which shadow it is. And there's also secondary packaging to keep the shadow nice and secure. You can see the shade. And on the back, it does list the ingredients as well as the weight for each shadow. So what you're gonna do is just carefully remove each shadow from its packaging. You'll notice on the back of the shadow, it does list the name as well. So that makes it nice and convenient when you want to know which shadow you're using, you can just pop it out and take a look. But as you can see, I'm just going through each individual shadow, placing it into my palette, making sure that they're nice and neat and secure. Like I said, I put mine in 
um, and arranged them by shadow number. So they are all in order. It did take me some time to go through each <laughs> individual shadow and make sure I line them all up and put them in in the correct order. But of course, you don't have to do that. You can put them in any color or arrangement that you want, mixing shimmers with mattes if you want, mixing diamonds with shimmers and all of that good stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys how they do come packaged just in case you're curious. This is how my palette looked after I got all of my beautiful shadows in. I just love the square design of these shadows. It's so pretty to me. The colors are so beautiful and so rich and I'm really, really happy with the design of this palette. Now I did wanna put in a slide just showing you the numbers for every single shadow. So there's a slide that has diamonds and shimmers as well as the mattes if you wanna pause it and see what the shadow numbers are. And these are just swatches of all of the shadows within my bundle. Okay, so <laughs> I started actually doing my eyes before turning on the camera, so I'm just jumping right in. But the first shade I'm using is a deep burgundy shade. It is ACM1, just in case you're curious. And I'm just placing this down in my crease area, packing that on. I did go in with a couple of uh, dips into the pan to get it to this opacity but the pigmentation is very nice and the shadow did apply and blend out beautifully i didn't have any issues with patchiness or anything it was very easy to build up now the names of these shadows are all starting with ac for adept cosmetics and then it's a m for matte a s for shimmer and a d for diamond now the next shade I'm going into is a matte purple shadow and this is the shade ACM21. Now I went in very lightly because I just wanted to use this to blend out the edge of that burgundy. I didn't want that purple to overpower that burgundy shade on the upper portion of my lid so I just used a little bit to gently blend out that burgundy so you'll be able to see that purple in my eye look but it wouldn't be too overpowering. So I really, really like how that came out. Now for my first shimmer, I'm going into the shade ACS1, which is a deep purple shimmer. Now this shimmer didn't really apply like I thought it would. It's a very beautiful color, but I did have to go in a few times to build it up. It didn't just easily glide onto my lid. <laughs> it probably will work better with the finger, but since I don't use my finger, I am of course using my brush to apply it and just spraying it a little bit. So it's definitely buildable as you can see. It is a gorgeous shade and I really, really love the way that this turned out. So I'm just going back in with that burgundy shade and deepening that crease, making sure that everything blends nicely together. Now for the inner portion of my lid, I'm going into the diamond shade ACD3. And as you can see, it really brightened up that inner part of my lid. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I really like how this applied both wet and dry. It's a gorgeous kind of iridescent topper type shadow. And this is just <laughs> one of my favorites already. I really, really like this shadow. It just took this eye look to the next level because the purple was really pretty, but once I added that diamond shade, it just gave it a whole new dimension. So very, very happy with that shadow. Really love it a lot. Now I'm just using some of my black liquid eyeliner. I believe this is the Wet n Wild that I'm using and just creating a nice wing for this look. Now for my lower lash line, I'm going back into that burgundy shade, ACM1, and I'm just using a thick pencil brush just to drag that along my lower lash line, just to kind of give it a nice, soft, smoky effect. And to bring that beautiful topper shade down to my lower lash line, I'm using a pencil brush 
and just placing that shade which is ACD3 on the inner portion of my lower lash line. I really, really like this shadow because I really didn't have to wet my brush. Now I'm going in with my Milani Waterproof Pencil Eyeliner on my lower lash line. And for mascara today, I'm using my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara on my upper as well as on my lower lashes. And for my lips, I wanted to go bold with this bold eye look, so I'm using my Hard Candy Glitterazzi lipstick, and this is in the shade Glamour. It's a really gorgeous purple metallic type shade. I love this lipstick. So this is the look I created with this Adept Cosmetics palette that I created, or should I say, <laughs> that comes with the large bundle. I like these shadows. I am really looking forward to using this palette and trying out more of the shadows and using it to dupe other palettes as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little short brief review on this Adept Cosmetics palette. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles! Mm -hmm.